Hello, this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I am going to speak to you about the plane sailing, one of the most basic things of the navigation. Plane sailing is one of the first things uh, a marine student learns at his pre-sea institute. I somehow feel that some of the basic topics must be done very very carefully so that a very strong base is formed for the advanced numericals. Okay. Uh, Let's talk about the plane sailing. Plane sailing, the basic principle is a right angle triangle. A small area, a small portion of the earth may be considered as a plane. And we may uh, say that the distance is less than 600 miles can be considered as being on the flat surface and the distances and course calculations can be done uh, by the principles of right angle triangle. So uh, let us uh, talk about a situation where you have to go from place A to place B and let us see what kind of calculations can be done to find out the course and distance by plane sailing. Okay, let us say the latitude of A is 24 degrees 30 minutes north and 75 degrees 12 minutes east and position of B is say 26 degrees 00, zero minutes north and 78 degrees 30 minutes east. So when we have the initial and final positions, the minimum that you can do is find the DLAT and DLONG. Now how to find out DLAT? It is very easy to uh, understand how the DLAT is to be found out. Even then if somebody wants to know rules for finding out DLAT then uh, I can say if it is the same name you subtract. If it is the same name you subtract, so how much you get? You get 30 minutes here and then uh, 1 degree. That is about 90 minutes of delay. But you are going from 24, 30 north to 26 north. That means you are going upward. You are going northward. So this delay is 90 minutes north. What about D-long? Uh, D-long, the names are same. The initial and final names are same. You are going from 75 east to 78 east. Your easterly potential is increasing. So a simple common sense. If your easterly potential is increasing, that means you must be going east. And if it is the same name, you subtract. If it is same name, you subtract. That means if it is different, if it was different name, you would have added. Right? We will see that a little later. It becomes 18 over here and then 3 degrees over here. 3 degrees, 18 minutes is the D long, right? 198 minutes east is the D long. That means if you draw a plus showing north south and V, you must be advancing in this quadrant. The D light is 90 minutes north and departure is quite a bit. So probably you have gone on a course something like this. Where there is small amount of delight and departure or de long amount is more. Now we try to make a, a right angle triangle. This is the distance line, and from the end of distance line, remember drop the perpendicular on the meridian, not on the parallel of latitude. Drop the perpendicular on the meridian. So smaller angle with the meridian is the course. That is the that is a quadrantal course. Now actually, actually. Uh, if we want to name these parts, then this part is delat and this part is departure. We need to find out departure. So what is departure actually? Departure upon d long is equal to cos of mean lat. Probably the only purpose of mean lat is to convert departure to d long or d long to departure. Remember, d long will always be more than or equal to departure. Departure and d long are related by cosine and secant relationship. I like to tell the students that cosine is a reducing factor, secant is an increasing factor. Cosine of every angle from 0 to 90 is less than or equal to 1. Secant of every angle from 0 to 90 is more than or equal to 1. So that's why cosine is a reducing factor secant is an increasing factor so from departure if you want to go to d long you multiply departure with secant and from d long if you want to come to departure you multiply by cosine so 
I want to find out departure. So departure should be equal to d long into cosine of mean latitude. Now, if we have initial and final latitude known and the difference between them is 90 minutes, what you can do is the half of the d lat is added to the smaller latitude or what you can simply do is in your calculator you put initial and final latitude because they are same name sum divided by 2 should be the mean latitude so I suppose it should be uh, 25 degrees 15 minutes mean latitude is equal to 25 degrees 15 minutes right now I want to find out what is the departure d long is 198 so so 198 multiplied by cosine of mean latitude 25 degrees 15 minutes that gives me that gives me uh, 179.1 minutes 179.1 minute east is the departure so 179.1 is the departure d lat is 90 minutes so tan of course you can see there is a right angle triangle relationship so tan of this course should be opposite upon adjacent opposite upon adjacent would be 179.1 divided by 90 so uh, 179.1 divided by 90 that gives me 1.99 that gives me 63.3 so north 63.3 degrees east is the course this is the course north 63.3 degrees east and if we have to find out the distance you should always use this formula distance is equal to d lat into second of course i advise this formula because this formula can be used in plain sailing this formula can be used in mercator sailing also or long line sailing also so distance is equal to d lat into sec course that means d lat upon cos course how much is d lat 90 divided by uh, uh, cos course course is 63 that gives me the distance equal to 200.3 miles distance is equal to 200.3 miles so this is a simple plane sailing calculation where we were given initial and final position course we have found as north 63.3 degrees east and distance is 200.3 miles east this is the course and distance found by plane sailing method we can do one more calculation let us uh, find out the final position given the initial position course and distance so let us say you are close to the Greenwich Meridian and your uh, latitude is uh, 34 degrees 00, zero minutes north 0, 0, 001 degree and 15 minutes west and from there you are going on a course that is 0, 078 degrees true and distance travel is 340 miles what is the final position arrived now first of all let us understand the system of uh, uh, naming of longitudes if you say that you are close to Greenwich Meridian then if it is a 0 degrees Meridian which is Greenwich Meridian then on this side you have 0 degrees 30 minutes east then uh, 1 degree east 1 degrees 1 degree 30 minutes east and so on in the same way on this side you have 0 degrees 30 minutes west 1 degree west 1 degree 30 minutes west and so on so uh, from a position that is 1 degree is 15 minutes west that means somewhere here and from here you are going in a direction 078 degrees you are likely to cross the Greenwich Meridian and you are traveling by something like 340 miles so what is the position arrived will be in easterly uh, longitudes okay so uh, once again we make a plus which represents north south and v and you are going on a course 078 as i said this this as i said this is the distance line and from distance line you must drop a perpendicular on the meridian right so this becomes a right angle triangle of our interest now this particular angle is 78 degrees 
and this particular distance is 340 miles okay so distance is equal to d let into sec course the formula to be used is d let into sec course is equal to distance that means d let upon cos course is equal to distance that means d let is equal to distance into cos course that means the d let is equal to 340 multiplied by cos of 78 degrees so 340 into cos of 78 degree gives me a d let of 70.7 minutes that means 1 degrees and 10.7 minutes north because you are going in northeast quadrant so d let will be north so 1 degree 10.7 minutes is the d let now my departure lat the latitude that i left was 34 degrees north so latitude left is 34 degrees north and d lat is 1 degree 10.7 minutes north so from a northerly latitude you are going more north from a northerly latitude you are going more north so it will be added the d lat will be added so it becomes 35 degrees 10.7 minutes north the final latitude now as soon as you have the initial latitude and final latitude known and they are same name total them and divide by 2 to get mean latitude and the only thing you want to do with the mean latitude is convert departure to d long or d long to departure so uh, let us say uh, uh, 35 degrees 10.7 minutes plus 34 degrees equal to divide by 2 gives me 34 degrees 35.35 uh, I get 34 degrees 35.35 minutes this is the mean latitude if I want to convert departure into d long or d long into departure this will be helpful departure is equal to distance into sine course because you see departure is on the opposite side of the course opposite means sine so departure is equal to distance into sine course so 340 into sine of 78 degrees gives me departure as 332.5 minutes 332.5 minutes departure is 332.5 minutes and because we are going in east direction you can say departure is east now i have departure and i have mean now departure is to be converted into d long so i have to multiply by secant latitude or i have to divide by cos latitude so 332.5 divided by cos of latitude that is cos of 34 degrees 35.35 that gives me 403.9 403.9 minutes of uh, east longitude now 403.9 minutes of east longitude means in terms of degree 6 degrees 43.9 6 degrees 43.9 minutes east is the d long So uh, we actually started from 1 degree 15 minutes west and we are going in eastward direction. What happens is after traveling for a d long of 1 degree 15 minutes we will reach 0 degree meridian and after 0 degree meridian the count of easterly longitude will start. So if uh, uh, logically if we know the d long whatever is the d long from d long if I subtract 1 degree 15 minutes then I reach Greenwich Meridian and thereafter the remaining part is the final longitude that I would reach. So logically you can understand you know when we cross Greenwich Meridian or 180 degrees Meridian a slight confusion might arise in people's mind. So here looking at the diagram you understand that 
your final longitude is going to be 5 degrees 13.9 minutes east right logically you try to understand that this would be my final longitude so my final latitude is 35 degrees 10.7 minutes north and longitude 5 degrees 13.9 minutes east